folks, this is Janet Nee with SBTN. I'm here today with Karen Fukuhara. Hi. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. To talk about her new breakout role in the newest movie, highly anticipated, Suicide Squad. So tell me about your role as Katana. So I play a character named Katana Tatsu Yamashiro, mm -hmm. and she is a badass samurai warrior <laughs> that wields this gigantic uh, samurai sword called the Soul Taker, and it traps the souls of her victims. Wow. It's killer. Yes. So I saw the movie yesterday, and honestly... Did you like it? It was so good. Okay. <laughs> More than what I expected. When did you realize how huge this movie was going to be, and what was that defining moment for you? Well, so this is my first movie, and I didn't know what I was auditioning for when I was going out for it. They, they were very secretive, and they only told me that it was a comic book movie, but they never said it was if it was DC or... Uh, or Here's the like, you know, <laughs> Or DC. Any, anyway. Um, so I, I had no prior knowledge to what I was getting myself into, and the first time I realized how iconic and how anticipated Suicide Squad was, was when I went to Comic-Con San Diego in 2015 and saw Hall H <laughs> filled with DC fans and all the cosplayers. The movie's not even out yet. And yeah. There were so many little Katanas and little Harley Quinns and it was, that's when it really hit me. Yeah. Well, how did you prepare for this role on the big screen? First off, I had never read the Katana comics, so I had to go back and read those. And I, did, I had a discussion with David, our director, David Ayer, and he wanted to keep Katana very true to the comic book. But, you know, she's a cold-blooded killer, and he wanted to show the humane side of her, her relationship to her sword and her husband trapped within it. You know, she didn't. he didn't really want it to be just about this this samurai warrior that does only fight scenes. So did you really had to exercise, just build that upper body strength so you can carry that sword? How heavy was that sword? It was heavy, it was a real sword. <laughs> I mean, the the first screen Some test. Real steel? Yeah, the wow. first screen test, uh, I cut my finger uh, drawing the sword. So, um, you know, very real. And uh, I know they had different versions for the stunt work and uh, for different takes we we had several different versions, but very physical. I've never had that much training. I, I, I've never had a personal trainer in my life, so I've never been more fit. And I was able to work with the best in the industry. Guy Norris and Richard Norton, they, work, they worked on uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, yes. Yes. So, That's a really intense yeah, movie. <laughs> yeah, so I worked with the best, and they taught me everything, so I was able to do a lot of my stunt work. Oh wow! Well, you were a natural on the on in the movie. So I recently saw your appearance at the Conan O'Brien show. It really <laughs> took the cake for me. Your impersonation of Jared Leto. Did you like? Yes. I hated it. I watched it again, and it was just. Uh, sorry, Jared. <laughs> I just butchered that. No, I loved it. It was my favorite clip. Thank you. So, how was it like to work on? in a movie with an all-star cast, Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Viola Davis, the list just goes on and on. I mean, I was extremely nervous when I, when I first found out who I was going to be cast with. Um, but, you know, Will just has this great energy about him and he really set the tone for the crew and cast. Even on the first day of rehearsals, he barged into the room and, and started singing Beauty and the Beast. And it was my first time meeting him, but he gave me a big hug and said, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Will. You know, coming into a, a, an environment, a welcoming environment like that, mm -hmm. um, I, was, I was so thankful and grateful that they treated me as an equal. All right, well, last question before we wrap up. There's been a lot of controversy about um, American actors in the Hollywood industry playing Asian roles. For example, Matt Damon with his upcoming movie next year, The Great Wall. How do you feel about that? You know, it's... I'm very lucky to be able to play Katana because 
I am a Japanese American and my parents are from Japan and I've grown up with Japanese customs and uh, traditions and uh, TV and food and all of that so I feel like I knew Katana very well and it's, I, I just hope that Hollywood gives Asian Americans more opportunities because we're out there, you know? Absolutely. There's a lot of us working hard to get uh, these roles that are outside of the Asian stereotype. We could play, we could play a range of roles, like, you know? Um, and so I just hope that we get more opportunity to audition for these roles and book these roles. Well, you're a very talented actress and um, it's great to see you and, and Asian American representing the community. All right, there you have it, folks. Katana, you know, Karen Fukuhara, and we're excited. I'm excited for everybody to see the movie that's coming out August 5th. And this is Janet Nee with SBTN signing off. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you so, Thank you so much. much.